Over the years, Path of Exile has evolved to include many new items, currency types, and so much more. Along with it, GGG have introduced many quality of life purchases in form of stash tabs in an attempt to curb the bloat of stash space. But every fresh account still starts with the same base four tabs. This is how Path of Exile is, is meant to be played. This, this is how it... I've always wanted to see how feasible these tabs are from a veteran player's perspective, and if it could be a deal breaker for those wanting to play the game completely free to play. In this series, I aim to unlock all the map favorite slots and farm 50 Exalted Orbs on PoE's most popular game type, Softcore Trade, all with the base tabs. This is Fresh Off The Beach. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and um, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hiccup in the series uh, today. Now, I, I, uh, after this little intro right here, I'm gonna play the rest of the stuff that I've recorded of actual day two, so you can still see what we're up to. But uh, there's a little bit of pause in the series while I'm waiting for my account to be unbanned. Now, I don't know why this has been banned. I've seriously just been playing the game the exact way that I play on my main account. Um, but it seems like I've been flagged by some sort of automated system. Um, it makes sense because I did do, I think, a couple of harvest trades on stream or something like that, um, like through the Forbidden Trove, and, you know, that potentially might look like some sort of system where they are, uh, you know, I'm just getting given currency to the account uh, because you can't really track the uh, harvest crafts that much. So it could have been flagged as a new account um, doing some sort of real money trading or something like that. Uh, and honestly, if that is why, that's good because that means the GGG system is working and it's it's flagging counts for reasons. It is a little bit frustrating because it means I can't actually do this, but um, yeah, the character's level 90 at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to play the rest of it. Once again, I, I, I don't want this to turn into any sort of drama or anything like that. Um, the account got flagged and hopefully we get it unflagged so we continue the series. But uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Watch the rest of the video. Welcome! It's fresh off the beach time, episode 2. Uh, now, if you saw the first episode, you would have known what we're doing, but just a quick recap, I'm playing on a completely fresh account, as you would have seen in the intro, with four stash tabs and trying to complete pretty much all of the endgame content while farming up a decent amount of currency. And today, even though we played only about half of the amount that we played yesterday, uh, around about five hours played today, we have made huge progress. First of all, I have my first two Watchstones from the Eater of Worlds and the Searing Exarch. We have progressed up into T16 maps and I'm just looking at uh, filling my Atlas at the moment. We're at 73 points out of 117 and uh, I've got a few uh, Orbs of Horizon that we're going to use to uh, get through all of that. But in terms of upgrades, we did manage to drop a few things. We managed to get a T4 seed in the garden that we sold on TFT. Uh, or the Forbidden Trove Discord. And I'll talk about selling things at the moment because I still have not purchased a premium tab. And honestly, I don't think I will even need to because there's a lot of ways you can sell items without actually having a premium tab. The first thing is the Forbidden Trove. You can sell in bulk on the Forbidden Trove and there's a few things that you can do about that. You have a, if you haven't joined the Forbidden Trove Discord, you can. If you're on uh, Softcore Trade, you can go and join that one. Put a link in the description. Uh, and uh, the other way that you can sell things is selling through the actual trade website itself. We managed to sell a uh, T4C craft, which was a synthesized implicit for three exalted orbs. And that meant that we could purchase a six link fresh flesh crafter and also uh, purchase, you know, a, a nice shield with some reservation efficiency. Uh, but we'll just quickly talk about the trade website itself because you can go to the bulk item exchange and you can say, for example, uh, you know, I've got like, uh, I've just got three ancient orbs right here that I want to sell. So what I can do, you know, items I have, I can have a look at my Ancient Orbs, I can click right here, and I can click on Chaos, I can do this, um, and I can sell, you know, I can sell my Ancient Orbs for 70 Chaos each, I could talk to this person, I could go, I have, whoop, I kind of have to go like that, or, or, I should just be able to go like that, and then you can copy that, hey, I want to buy your 51 Chaos for my three Ancient Orbs, so you don't need to list your Ancient Orbs in a premium tab to be able to sell them. So anything bulk, you can sell like that. You can also sell uh, other things like Harvest Crafts. I've specced into Harvest uh, on my tree a little bit. You can sell Harvest Crafts through TFT. 
and they actually sell relatively quickly uh, and it's uh, very safe doing so as well uh, if you do abide by all of the rules that they do have through there. So honestly, my 50 Exalted Orb goal um, is uh, looking like it's super achievable and I'm also already halfway done with my favoured map slots. We have defeating Cirrus to go, defeating uh, Venarius in the Cortex, defeating the Shaper, defeating the Elder, defeating the Maven, and completing the Feared. So basically the end game bosses. Uh, we've done, you know, a few of these uh, other bosses here. We did also, uh, this is one thing that I'm probably not going to be able to sell unless I do buy a premium tab. It's worth 12 Exalted Orbs, but the first Eater of Worlds that we did fight, we dropped an Allocate's Master of Metal Forbidden Flesh. And uh, yeah, this is about 12x to sell. Uh, it's... The, I, I'd just be able to gear my character even crazier, but right now, honestly, with my Six Link Flesh Crafter, my Ashes of the Stars, and the rest of my gear, uh, I can do Maven on this character now. I'm just basically, instead of just buying Mavens and everything like that, I'm gonna see if I can grind it for myself, grind the Feared for myself. And uh, yeah, I would say we could potentially finish this series tomorrow quicker than I ever thought that we would. Um, but uh, yeah. There are some more things that I've been doing, uh, if you're wondering how I've made a little bit more currency. We're doing some Expedition, and I still need to run some Expedition on my Atlas tree itself, we're specced into Expedition, and I've been buying Rusted Expedition Scarabs. Two to three Chaos each, uh, run them in my maps, get logbooks, run those logbooks, uh, roll Tujin and sell Gwenon, and uh, yeah, I've been, well, we will be making more currency with that. Uh, I think I only have three logbooks at the moment. Let's just quickly have a little look here. Only three and I haven't run them yet. So I'm going to, you know, farm up maybe 12 logbooks, then run them. Uh, and then do a bit more stuff there. But we're still just setting up for that. That's all I really have to say about this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Come watch me live at twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.